uh, the gas reserves as currently stands 88.59 uh, trillion standard uh, cubic feet of reserves. The oil resources, you can see the numbers for yourself, they're 5.8 billion barrels of, uh, equivalent. And so, next slide please. And I do want to say this, very much the story as you see in the world, we are, have to run hard to stand still. And so, declining reserves, the challenge is to make sure that we sustain those reserves by doing everything we can on oil-enhanced recovery. At the same time, marginal and small fields and all the difficult things we have to do offshore to make sure that we get that. By the way, we are the third largest solar producer in the world, in Malaysia. Not many people know this, but we're not a very big user of it. We produce it for other countries. We believe that at some point, when the feed-in tariff is correct, when the conditions are right, we should be able to utilize a lot more of what we produce in, this, in the solar industry for local uh, consumption. And I do believe the best way for oil and gas to thrive is to collaborate and compete at the same time. Just like the Beatles. When the Beatles produced some of the best music that was known to mankind, I think all the players in that band, they collaborated to write the music sing the songs, play all their parts in the uh, instruments in the band. At the same time, they also, I think, they had some personal rivalry within the band. My personal plea to the oil and gas industry is that you learn to collaborate and compete at the same time, provided the boundaries are drawn very clearly. I do believe my own view is that you should compete at the wellhead, and you should compete at the pump station. Everything along the line is room for collaboration. Pipelines, storage, and facilities, because they're all there to reduce cost. So you compete for the customers, you compete for the reserves. Everywhere along the line, you should learn to reduce the cost. So if you learn to reduce the cost, then we can then bring gas and oil to the consumer at much lower cost. So then you compete on the services you render to the customers. The one that deliver the best service will get the customers but really, as an industry, you have to bring down the cost even lower. I know you've done a lot of that, but I think the next round of cost reduction as an industry has to come through, through a structural revamp in the approach where there's a lot more collaboration and competition at the same time amongst key players.